What is up guys? Welcome back to another video and today we'll be taking a look at um Raiden's refactored passive. So previously Raiden had only one passive, but right now he's gonna be having three passives. So this is because of the Mortal Kombat team that is gonna be made, which features Raiden, Sub Zero, and new legendary Arcane Scorpion. Now let's take a look at Raiden's passive. So his passive one is Power Lord. Raiden's successful basic and swipe attacks steal his opponent's power, depending on the current combo meter. So what this means is that Raiden, um, on basic and swipe attack, he steals the opponent's power. So this is very useful in all game modes, even solo raids as well, because it's going to help you to gain more power quickly to use specials as well. Um, his passive 2, Chain Lightning, starts the battle with additional power per arcane teammate. Um, Raiden's third special, Elder Shock, strikes tagged out opponent, striking multiple times and depending on the opposing team's empty power bar. So, um, basically, this passive, passive 2, Chain Lightning, um, it's kind of like Multiverse Armored Supergirl's um, passive where she gives the team, um, starts the battle with additional power bar per Multiverse teammate. But in this case, it is per Arcane teammate. And since all the Mortal Kombat characters are Arcane characters and they are most likely going to be used together only, so this, will this passive will work very effectively. Now, there's more to this passive though than just starting the battle with additional power. Raiden's third special is also involved in this passive. Now, when Raiden's third special is used, um, opponents that are tagged out will also be affected by it. So the damage done also depends on the opposing team's empty power bar. So, so far, Raiden is kind of like, he's kind of a damage dealer, but he's more of a support character. Um, so we'll only get to know um, all this and how the gameplay and all once the update is installed. Now, passive 3, Flawless Victory. Raiden gives additional damage buff for Mortal Kombat team, depending on the opponent's empty power bar. Now, this is really helpful in solo raids because any damage buff is really helpful in solo raids. Now, um, so what this does is, based on the opponent's empty power bars, Raiden gives additional damage buff for the Mortal Kombat team. Now, if you haven't checked out my video with Scorpion, where I did about Scorpion, you should go check that out because there are a lot of damage buffs that Scorpion um, provides for himself and the team as well. Now, with all these passives from Raiden as well as Scorpion um, lined up, this is going to be a very good damage dealing team. Now, once again, we're just going to take a recap at Raiden's um, passive. So, passive 1, power lot. Basically, Raiden will steal power bars on basic and swipe attack. And the amount of power bars depends on his current combo meter. Chain, um, passive 2, Chain Lightning. So, he starts the battle with additional power per arcane teammate. And Raiden's third special will allow tagged out opponents to also be affected. And finally, passive 3, Flawless Victory. Raiden gives additional damage buff not only um, for the whole Mortal Kombat team, not just for him, and depending on the opponent's empty power bars. So, so far, based on these three passives, in my opinion, Raiden is more of a support character for Scorpion and the Mortal Kombat team, but he can also be a damage dealer as well. Now, if you guys like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And do check out my videos where I talk about other Injustice 2 Mobile characters. Once again, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.